Hello, good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome. Welcome to Kayaking for Autism's channel. Um, I've done a few improvements to the biodome. Um, we're landing currently on the south pole of the moon as a little test bed, and uh, I like to do my polar plant growing so that the sun goes all around you and never really goes above or below you per se. And we're going to go for a little walk. I'm going to show you some improvements we made. I've had a lot of requests for ideas and things to do to the dome. Like, I mean, one of the things they had was... Uh, just like loads of um, loose no loose objects with no no colliders in them. Like before, there was this uh, thing that you could just walk through. Whereas now, there, there's a no collider there. Ah, brilliant! And before, you know, you would just be able to fall through there, and you can't fall through there anymore. And um, yeah, I've decided to call this the briefing room. I've had some ideas to put in like some tables and things, but at the moment, there's it's just an empty room with a, a carpet in it. But hey, you know, we've, we're getting somewhere. I better move my uh, mouse over there so there we go. We'd have this stupid green thing um, coming along. Okay. And yep, that wall's working fine. Yay, he's happy. He's got a carpeted floor on the moon. A carpet on the moon, a flying carpet. Yay. I think that was another game, wasn't it? Magic Carpet. That was a great game that was back in the 1990s. I loved uh, fighting that big, um, big fat boss that just keeps firing those, those bad things at you. And I'm going to have a, a toilet thing here. So we'll have... Um, well, we've got uh, one for the female kerbals. Oh, you can't go in there. You're a male kerbal. You're not allowed in the girls' toilets. What are you, a pervert? And we've got a male toilet here for male kerbals. Yep. So, obviously, if, you, if you're desperate to go to the loo, you can get out of the bridge, and there you go. So, we can go for a whiz in here. Obviously, the space toilet from Red Dwarf I haven't yet put in, but uh, I'm, I'm planning on doing it. One thing at a time. Um, the bulk of my work I'm going to show you on has been things like this, uh, this arch, and people were complaining that, you know, the arch is... Um, um, didn't quite mesh with the uh, um, scenery properly, but the archers now, you know, they, they seem to be um, meshing quite nicely now. I uh, haven't put some railings on this particular level yet, but, the ra you know, you can walk all the way around the dome that side if you want. Um, loads of requests for people to be able to drive around, and when I was trying to do an animated tractor that drives around, um, I'm thinking about just doing a rover tractor instead, but I need some big wide ramps. So I made these ramps nice and wide, and the textures on the ramps used to be uh, on the rails of the ramps used to be absolutely awful. But I've I've redone them now, and they they look lots better, and they don't use up very much memory. Ah, he's fallen over! Oh no! Oh no! I hate it when that happens. And the way to get around that is you've got to go. Ah, uh, uh, he's falling! He's falling! He's falling! Jet back on! Do 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 do. So up we go. Up, 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 up. Dee, 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 dee. Super Kerbal. And he's falling down again. He's falling down again. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Up we go, up we go. Here we go. Ah, he's falling down again. Ah. That's the problem. There are so many overhanging uh, barriers and beams and things that it's easy to. Uh, collide with uh, various things in the dome and here I'd like to show you my uh, my, my glorious um, my glorious creation um, I'll zoom out of there okay here we go so over here we have um, a batch of these watermelon plants and over here we have some granola plants I mean, you could call them rapeseed, but the name itself is a bit has some interesting connotations. And if I uh, whiz that up, you can see that just like the the um, there we go, and then they die, and then they get replanted again, and the granola grows, and it grows into its uh, into some some rape seeds. and obviously this one here grows into watermelons. Do you like that? Tell me what you think. There's the watermelons. And there's the granola. And if I go mega fast, you'll be able to see the dome. Oops. Yeah, some of these complaining about you get rid of this stupid green thing whenever you put hover your mouse over it. 
um, I decided I wanted granola because um, people wanted a way of being able to produce fuel other than ketane, and I wanted to come up with a much more green and friendly way of doing it, i.e. biofuel, and I figured that uh, these uh, these plants here would do good for growing fuel. But uh, I needed to make some... I haven't yet finished the idea of the biofuel mod yet, which I'm working on, but the idea will be... Um, this, this isn't finished yet, this is still an alpha in progress. But down here, I want to build uh, on this little platform here. I want to build... Um, I'll show you the platform I'm on about. On this platform here, I want to build an agricultural processing facility. Okay, And the agricultural processing facility sends the... Uh, sends the uh, tractor out, and if the blade comes into contact with um, watermelon 1, watermelon 2, watermelon 3, watermelon 4, or granola 1, granola 2, granola 3, granola 4, whatever, um, it goes back to uh, um, harvestable becomes false, which is a boolean, and um, uh, it goes back to frame 1 again, and then it goes back to the seedling. And um, if I... Uh, if you try and harvest it when it's false, obviously nothing happens, or it goes back to one, but you just don't get any um, you don't get any um, um, rapeseed. And I'm hoping that you take it back to the agricultural processing facility, and then it just turns it into fuel. But you have to wait for the plants to grow. And at the same time, I've already told you this that I also want to get solar energy mining mod back up and running. You know the um, uh, the drill and the rocks, <coughs> and. Um, then I want to be able to uh, use the drill to get the rocks out of the ground and put them into a biological processing facility that I want to stick. Um, I'll show you where I want to put it. I'll show you where I want to stick it. Yeah, baby. Right. Down here, in the docking bay. But I want to build an extra, an extra section about um, under here, next to the mining bay, up here. So just under here. This section here is where I want to do it, down here, under there. I want to build this um, uh, bio, sorry, bacteria farm, and I want it to have um, like a a airlock that you click on it, and there's a password because it's um, bio weapons lab, yeah, and it uses uh, top secret, you know, biological weapons to turn moon rock into um, into potash phosphate nitrate. And uh, then you then this you have to take the phosphate potash nitrate up to the, um, and it just feeds it straight into the hydro tank. And I want to basically have a load of pipes that just go up to these uh, hydro feeds, these pipes here. And someone suggested to me that I should have Mario come out of the pipes. I think that's a brilliant idea. Um, so I might I might just rip Mario out of uh, the game, and I hope that um, Nintendo don't sue me, because ultimately I'm not really making much money out of this, to tell you the truth. Uh, and just get him to go doing doing doing. And I thought, you know, I might as well, seeing as I'm, I'm adding a lot of uh, 2D based sprites into this thing um, to save memory. Hey, why not? Just pretend that this is a, uh, you know, good old 1997 again. Yeah, you were just doing a. Uh, but, you know, unlike the 90s, I've got shaders. How amazing is that? Um, yeah, I've. Other things I've done to the dome to make it look a bit better is I got rid of the stupid uh, radiator texture and put a bump map on the top so it looks loads better. And um, well, what else have I done since then? Uh, not a lot really. I've uh, I've done some work and I'll show you the. Um, there's the dance arena. Uh, there we go. Go down it. Uh, we go. Oh no, falling down again, falling down again. Ding, ding. Yeah, I want to get the um, engine cover, engine manifold uh, retextured as well. That's not looking amazing. And there's a wall missing on this um, passenger airlock. And I want to put a couple of um, doors in this airlock. Oh, and I've got to move that little airlock frame down a bit. Yeah, there's just a few little things I've got to do. Oh well, I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the lift. We'll go on the lift next. Go out of the airlock in a minute. All right. So move them over there. Ding. Done. Change that over. All right. And we say that one there going down. Uh, 
we'll go back into them. We'll watch the lift come down. I absolutely love my lift. I mean, I thought uh, in Infinite Dice's lift was pretty cool. He, Infinite Dice, uh, Mike Robbins has given me loads of help and support ideas for coding and stuff. But I, I just think that I've, since he's given me some of these ideas, I've tried my best to sort of outdo him with this carrier mod in many ways. I mean, admittedly, my mod is not as widely known about, not as finished, and not as uh, useful. I mean, I can see why Kara is so useful, you know, to recover the capsules from Apollo. Whereas mine, it's like proper futuristic and like proper like aliens and, you know, like sci-fi almost. But still, you know, I like, I like, uh, I'm really proud of my lift that, you know, climbs up and down with these gears and then these two airlock doors open and close without, um, without having to worry about uh, losing any air. And we'll go this one, going up. Back we go, oops. And yeah, the red lights spin round. And he gets up. And up and away he goes. Yeah, quick. Up we go. Do, 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 do. Before the airlock closes. Before the airlock closes. Oh no. And no, I can't go through. No, I missed it. At least there are no colliders in the airlock work. So, you know, if you fall off the airlock, uh, TSB. Oh well. But basically, the airlock will take you up and out of the facility. So then this door will close. This will depressurize. And then it will go up. Just like in Frontier Elite 2. And then he goes to the top. That's designed for Landercraft to land on the dome, and this uh, airlock here is designed for, uh, um, for you know your giant mining rovers and things to go out. So we'll, I'll show you that one next. So for this one to work, we have to first of all we have to lower the ramp, deploy ramp. <laughs> Mike's trying to show me how to add sound effects to the game, but every time I try and bung a sound effect in the game, it just it doesn't play. I'm not sure if I'm using the wrong codec or whatever. Uh, and there we go. Ramps deployed. And then we open the airlock and depressurize. And then we show them in it. And there are some windows you can see down here, so you know if you're in the docking bay, you can obviously you can see from the docking bay commander's module in here, and it's like to it's like a gas chamber, and there's like a window that makes it totally hermetically sealed. And I don't know, you know, if you if you didn't like um, your alien dancers, you could always use this as a appropriate form of execution. I don't know uh, if you're not wearing a space helmet, that is, but you know, obviously uh, Bill Kerman, he's um, He's, he's fine to go out on this. So we'll go on an EVA. Yay! And I don't know. We'll fly to the top of the dome, shall we? And we'll come in back in the other way. Um, yeah, um, people have suggested I should bung a rover into it, get the mining mining mod up and running, and then see if I can code that to get the mining rocks into the dome and turn the mining rocks into um, something useful so I can produce biofuel once and for all. And... Uh, I also want to try and um, do sort of a modified keythane, so that it's possible to mine not just uh, any old rock, but different types of rock other than keythane, and just add them onto the grid. So I have white, red, purple, magenta, yellow, blue dots appear all over the place, so you can get lots of different minerals, and you need them for different things. And obviously, depending on you know what you know, a bit like Minecraft, just at the moment the only thing you seem to be mining for is fuel directly, whereas I'm trying to make a sort of an indirect fuel one that you you know it's there's more, there's more um, spots that you can generate fuel, it's just that you have to be a bit more patient than keythane. You know, like keythane, you can, as long as you land on a keythane square, it's hexagon even, you can get a keythane. Whereas here I want to be able to get um, nutrients. And I don't want to be able to just produce rapeseed or granola to produce fuel, I want to be able to also produce um, food. So I want to make a kitchen next. And um, once the tractor has come up with, I don't know, melons, you, you know, you can make fruit salad, for instance. And uh, if you have tomatoes and you have flour and you have um, uh, eggs and you have... Uh, what else do you need to make flour? Cheese. You know, cheese. You need milk. You know, so you obviously have some cows on here. And obviously the cows need grass. Then you can make pizza, for instance. And um, 
you know, then if you have uh, cocoa plants, you can make chocolates. If you have um, um, coconut trees, you can make coconutty biscuits. If you have, um, uh, what else do you need? If you have, you know, what sort of foods can you think of, Lexi, that I can put in the dome? To grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got melons, and I've got. I did have hemp, but there were too many complaints from the space police to not grow it anymore. Or soya. Soya, yeah, yeah. We could make we could make soya milk. Yeah, we could make soy milk. Soya is better than cows, idiot. How are you going to take cows to the moon? Cows to the moon. Well, we'll lug your heavy ass up there in the rocket. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lexi. That had to be said. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know, we get some chickens, you always have some you chicken. Don't take anything to the moon, take a goat. A goat? Yeah. Because they'll eat bloody anything, won't they? Alright, I'll put some goats in the moon next time and I'll have them animated well, going meh and meh. You can wear a goat and you can eat a goat and you can drink a goat's milk. Yeah, but I'm going to have to work out how to do the, um, what is it, the command saying base.part.goat.transform.leg1 x however many, and then at that time make the leg transform well, that. I'm going to have to code the animation by hand. What right. do Kerbals eat? What do Kerbals eat? Well, at the moment, they're eating rapeseed and melons, aren't they? That's about all there is to bloody eat on the moon at the moment. We've got plenty of rapeseed and we've got plenty of melons, so it looks like we're having deep fried melon for, for breakfast. We're having deep fried melon for lunch and we're having deep fried melon for, uh... Oh, and guess what? The toilet isn't yet installed, so we're going to have a, just a load of diarrhoea just stuck in the middle of the toilets. Anyway, on that note... I'm going to say goodnight, goodbye for now. Um, this is just an early out of preview of um, Biodome 2 Alpha 5. Let's hear your thoughts, what you'd like to see in the dome later on.